the, the, they would also point to the fact that they promote music and they do virtual concerts like Little Nas and, and Fortnite did one with Travis Scott and that they actually are, are very friendly toward artists and musicians in that sense. Well, if you look at the plaintiffs in this lawsuit, over 30, or 30 companies that represent really a majority of the music industry, the fact that they've hosted a few concerts and try to use that as window dressing to suggest they're friendly to the industry is preposterous. They are violating the copyrights of thousands and thousands of songwriters, about a thousand in this first complaint. And so if we really thought they were a good partner promoting us, we wouldn't be in this position. They're not. They're actually using music to build their platform and to make money for themselves. And they're not compensating the songwriters who make these games attractive for kids to play. El CEO de la Asociación Nacional de Editores de Música, David Israelite, sobre la demanda por infracción de copyright de Roblox. Roblox está usando la música para construir su plataforma y ganar dinero para sí mismo si no está compensando a los compositores. La fiesta de barrio en Tales. Está a punto de terminar, pero los recuerdos vivirán para siempre. Invita a todos tus amigos y dirígete a Washington Heights una vez más. Es posible que veas que en la app de dispositivos móviles de Roblox, hay una nueva pestaña llamada Conectar que combina las funciones del chat y grupos dentro de esta pestaña e incluye la característica de agregar amigos. Parece que se comenzó a implementar en la app. Muchas gracias por acompañarnos un día más, nos vamos y que todos tengan un feliz martes.